All right, so today we're gonna talk about uh, another little something I did to the car that some people told me was stupid to do, but you know, it's my car, I'm gonna do what I want. I personally don't think it's that bad of an idea, and I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about and how I went about doing it. So like I've mentioned before, I have E-Level in my car, and there's no pressure gauge for the tank, no pressure for the corners, and apparently, all the moving of the bracket has caused my right rear corner to cause a leak. Not a big deal. I know it's coming from the manifold because of pulling the bracket in and out, but you can just hear it. But in any case, something that is not necessary, but I felt like adding was a tank pressure gauge just to know if I have a tank leak. You know, it's a nice diagnostic tool to have. And the way I went about doing that is utilizing my P3 gauge. Now, I was told this is a dumb idea, why would you want that, blah, blah, blah. And my whole reasoning is, in case I have a tank leak, it's nice to be able to know. It doesn't hurt, I already have the gauge in here, so might as well hook up one of the extra analog inputs for it. So we got all of our normal ones, there's analog one. So right now my tank's at 130 PSI. Great to know. Next time I turn on the car, if it's down to 100 PSI, well, it'll, compressors will kick on, but I'll at least know that I have a tank leak. Luckily my system is pretty airtight. Um, the issue I just mentioned about is a new one just from redoing stuff in the trunk. Not a big deal. It'll get fixed before I start driving it, obviously. But this is just nice to have in case something goes wrong, it's a diagnostic tool. I'm not adding an extra gauge someplace. I'm not, you know, doing something to change the appearance of the car just to add the gauge, because in that sense, I feel it's kind of useless. But yeah, it goes through, you know, I only have analog one hooked up, everything else, same as any other P3 gauge. So I'll show you real quick how I went about wiring this. Extremely simple, just one wire. So I've mentioned it before, my wiring still needs to get tucked up and cleaned up, but these are the analog inputs for the P3 gauge. There's two, there's one. One is now hooked up to the tank pressure gauge. So this is just the pigtail from the P3 gauge harness. Kind of hard to see, but there's the connector for it. And that wire gets ran along down with everything else along the factory wiring. Again, grouped with the factory wiring all the way down. That's my battery tender wiring right there. All the way through and then down out to this group of wiring down here for the AccuAir. Now, since I don't want to pull up the bracket and have more issues with uh, pulling lines, I'll explain to you real quick on this side. So this is the tank pressure sensor for AccuAir and there's three wires that come off of it. There is a power, a ground, and a 5 volt source. So I followed the 5 volt source back to where it meets in the harness for AccuAir, where it plugs into the actual ECU, tapped that, and ran that all the way to the gauge. And that's the one I showed you earlier that goes all the way up to the front. So after doing that, all it is is activating the analog input in the P3 gauge menu. Really simple. Um, the calibration for it is a little funky. You have to do, you know, set the right parameters for it. But after that, it's all set, ready to go. And like I said, for running one wire, it's not really a waste and not stupid to have an extra diagnostic tool. Those two analog inputs were not being utilized before, so I'm making better use of the gauge that I already had in place. You know, not a cheap gauge at that. And if I ever feel like changing it, it's not that hard, but I don't see a use for a two extra analog inputs. I don't even know what to use the, the second one for at this point. So anyways, that's just a little, uh, you know, fun thing I did just to utilize what I already have in place. Uh, extra little diagnostic for myself. Thanks for watching. We'll have some more coming up soon.